go big little legs. Skinny kid with plenty. Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Zite, aka Lil Red. We are back on Twitter. Go follow me if you guys haven't already. Follow everybody back. Let's get into the video, man. We'll start off with something like Adidas showing interest in Kyrie Irving. This is beautiful to me. Kyrie Irving probably got some of the best shoes to wear for basketball. And I am a huge Adidas fan. Like, I only own things of Adidas. So, I'm excited for this. But speaking of Kyrie Irving, free agency, offseason. It's about to start for some of our team, most of our team. So, let's get into it. Let's see what Twitter's got. Oh, yeah. LeBron played the last few months of the season with a torn tendon. A lot of Lakers fans saying, oh, this is nothing you should know this. We all knew it was an injured foot. But the fact that it was a torn tendon is crazy. And he played through it. So, this was the only, like, realistic Twitter. We'll start off nice. This is the only realistic offseason I've seen for the Lakers so far. <coughs> <coughs> they said to re-sign Austin Reeves and Rui. They want to run it back, so I'm assuming that means D'Angelo Russell, and they want a legit center to play next to AD and have AD go to the four. And this is what I agree with. I think Anthony Davis should go back to power forward, you know? Our bubble run, championship we won in 2020, we had Dwight Howard and JaVale McGee starting at center with AD at power forward. And then, of course, I understand why people really don't like Lakers fans, because Lake Show Yo tweeted, which free agents should the Lakers pursue? Some of these comments comments are just funny to me like this man said austin reeves Rui, brooke lopez kyrie irving and lonnie sounds good to me you lost me at long bro we don't even have the money for this <laughs> We don't even have close to the money for this. This is what's funny. I understand why people get mad at me. This man said Rui, Austin Reeves, and James Harden. I wish that could happen, but we don't have enough money. Bro, if we got James Harden, I would literally cry tears of joy. I'm the biggest Harden stand there is. We're not getting James Harden because we don't have enough money for him. Even if we don't get Austin Reeves and Rui, nobody, and we still don't have enough money for James. He wants some max. Nas Reed or Yaka Perto would be fire. Hey, that'd be actually kind of nice, but we probably can't afford them. Maybe Nas Reed if we don't get Rui or something. This guy right here said that we want to keep everybody, uh, I guess, beg LeBron to come back. LeBron's not going to leave. Trade Anthony Davis and let D'Lo walk. Come on, bro. Without Anthony Davis, we are not anything. I don't care what no fan says. Anthony Davis is literally one of the best big men in the league. He, there's no reason to trade him, bro. Also, Gabe Vincent is listed out tonight, man. This is tough. No way the Celtics come back 3-0. I will be pissed if they do. All right, this is really why I'm making this video, just because I want to talk about this, because this is the stupidest thing I heard. I understand people, you know, off-season, they got to create some headlines, but odd makers believe Warriors have a good chance to land LeBron. How? Somebody explain to me. He's under contract with the Lakers. You think the Lakers are going to trade LeBron James? <laughs> oh my God, I don't know where people get I really don't know where people get this information from. Where do you even pull this out your ass from to start with? This is just ridiculous. First off, the Warriors literally are, I think they have the second worst cap space in the entire NBA. They can't even afford LeBron, even if they got rid of everybody on their team. They would have to be Curry, LeBron, and a whole bunch of vet minimums. And they're talking about, they think that the Warriors have a good chance to get LeBron James. LeBron ain't going to the damn, he said he don't even know he's going to play basketball. How is he going to go to the Warriors if he's under contract with the Lakers? Colin Coward says Lakers should trade Anthony Davis for Julius Randle and RJ Barrett. Bro, this guy might be the dumbest guy to ever, ever, ever talk about basketball. And that's saying a lot. With a platform, because there's some very dumb fans. But bro, why would the Lakers trade Anthony Davis for bum-ass Julius Rambo? <laughs> They're giving up 17 first round picks. Why would we do this? Adam Silver believes the NBA became too physical in the 90s. Really, bro? NBA fin finally releases two minute report for game four and states Jamal Murray uh, was a correct no call. It wasn't a call. It was not a foul. Lakers fans crying for foul. It's not a foul, bro. Come on. Sham said Kyrie Irving and Fred Van Fleet should be at the top of the Lakers list this offseason. I don't want no damn Fred. Yeah, I don't want Fred Van Fleet. Please, no, bro. That is a horrible trade. If we could somehow get Kyrie Irving because he's going to, you know, force his way out of Dallas, which is probably not going to happen, then I'll take it. But even Kyrie Irving posted a video. In this video, Kyrie Irving basically said that, listen, man, quit putting my name in trade rumors. Stop, Stop doing it. Mentioning me right now, please. It is still the Western Conference and Eastern Conference Finals. Like, or excuse me, <laughs> Denver's going to the finals. You know, we're still waiting for Boston and Miami. Can y'all please leave me the fuck out of this? 
please, can I just be with my family in peace? Y'all got people at my dinner table discussing what my free agency plans are. <laughs> Stop that. He pretty much just said, bro, he don't even know where he's going to go. He's just trying to not even think about it at this point. Of course, people got to come up with headlines. It's the job for a lot of people. But I'm just going to cool off all this Kyrie Irving hype. You know, uh, let's think realistically for now. So I guess Moses Moody unfollowed the Warriors Instagram. I don't know what type of people have the time to search this up, but I guess he did. Is there proof? Uh, are you sure he was ever following them? He was. Okay. Does this mean something? I don't know. He's young. He's 20 years old. He's probably frustrated because I don't know why, but who knows? Cash Nasty said Kyrie's coming to LA. Save this tweet. <laughs> uh, uh, I hope so. NBA Insider says he fully expects LeBron James to be for the Lakers next season. Why would it... Okay, Sham said it. Why would he not play for us next... He's under contract with us. Like, what do you think is going to happen? Somebody just... Where are they coming up with this stuff? Just because he hasn't said he didn't think about next season because they're trying to ask him questions about the team as soon as he just lost. Of course, he don't want to talk about next season. He don't know. He's just trying to get you guys to stop talking about the subject. All right, this guy said free agency. Kyrie Irving, Kyle Kuzma, Jeremy Grant, Jordan Clarkson, Dylan Brooks, Gary Trent Jr., Seth Curry, Jay Crowder, Matisse Thibel, Mason Plumlee. I'm not really mad at any of them. It's funny, earlier on in the year, I did say, imagine if the Lakers got Dylan Brooks and now it's happening. Kyle Kuzma, interesting, interesting to say the least. JC would be cool to come back on our team. Uh, Gary Trent Jr. is a really good scorer, but his defense low-key not that good. Matisse Thibault would be kind of nice, but his shooting's not the best. Mason Plumley, I like that. We need a center, to be honest. I think we need a center. I wouldn't be mad at uh, Kuzma or Kyrie. Obviously not Kyrie or JC. Jeremy Grant is also a very underrated player, but his contract is going to be at least like 20 mil. Name an NBA player that will have a breakout season next year. Hope Max Christie, man. Hey, he's, he's one of the few players on contract for the Lakers right now. One of four. Hopefully... I have high hopes for him. And we get another rookie this season, too. We have the 17th pick if we don't trade it. Now, I kind of want to get into this tweet a little bit. This is the worst time of the year for basketball talk, even approaching the NBA Finals. All you see is a ton of Lakers rumors, sources, something. You know, uh, listen, man, if you're a true basketball fan, you're, you don't really care about the rumors. Yeah, they're funny. They're kind of cool. But we know that they're not really true. Let's just focus on, you know, basketball is still here. There's still basketball going on. And we'll deal with it in the offseason. Just know that there's going to be a lot of stupid reports. Just like the LeBron James one. The Anthony Davis being shopped to Dallas. None of this stuff is actually going to happen. So I guess Kwame Brown and Shannon Sharp have some beef? And didn't even play high school ball. And you, you mumble mouth, dick tongue motherfucker. You didn't play basketball either. So we can all disrespect each other. But you could have disagreed with my take without the disrespect, you little punk. <laughs> Damn sure not gonna run up on me like you ran up on them because I'm a southern nigga too. Sitting up here emotional over a goddamn grown ass man. Nigga LeBron James already got a wife, nigga. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of funny. I didn't really, I didn't even watch uh, the Undisputed episode. I can't even really watch them because it's just, it's kind of annoying to be honest. But I guess, hey, Kwame Brown, shout out to him, keeping his name relevant, building a platform for himself, I guess. Like it. Respect. Vic says he wants to beat Team USA in the finals 2024 Olympics. Hey, Olympics coming back this year. I like that, man. Like, this is ridiculous, bro. Best odds for LeBron's next team with the eyes of Stop it, man. This is getting ridiculous. He's, he's not going with them in a Warriors uniform. I can't stand Twitter. Twitter is literally not real, bro. Twitter is not real. I can't stress it enough. This is crazy, bro. And there, I guarantee there's fans that believe this is like LeBron and Curry would not work. It's not possible. Stop it. D'Angelo Russell viewed as a positive presence around the Lakers this season. That's not. I feel like there's just a lot of unnecessary slander against uh, D'Angelo Russell. Recency bias, obviously, because he had a rough series the last series. But without him, we literally wouldn't be in the playoffs. He was such a big help. In the regular season, even in the start of the playoffs, the Grizzlies series, the Warriors series, he had huge games. We were undefeated when he had 17 or more points in the playoffs. Tyler Hero not even close to returning for the Heat. And it's crazy because they said that he could be able to return if they make the finals. And now they're almost making the finals and they're like, oh, damn. <laughs> now nah, we didn't think it was going to come to this. This man, Nick Wright, is also stupid. 
stupid, man. LeBron James for Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole, Jonathan Kamiga, Moses Moody. Now, why the hell would the Lakers do that? <laughs> you guys are crazy, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why would we do that? I understand LeBron only got like one year left in the NBA, if that, but like, come on, bro. This is ridiculous, bro. Both of them say no, bro. <laughs> come on now. I guess there's trade rumors now that they're saying that the Lakers are going to try to trade for Trey Young. Some, How are we even going to do that? I just don't get it. How is that even possible? And why would the Hawks do that? Are we giving them are we giving them Anthony Davis? Like, come on, what are we doing here, bro? Name an NBA player that have a breakout season. They're saying Jordan Poole. Warriors fans, how you guys feeling about this? Don't tell me the the Lakers fans are trying to give Fred, Fred Van Fleet some hype now because he likes Kobe. Who he thinks the greatest of all time, Kobe. Hey, respect to him for that. Maybe he can come to our team now. Hmm. A Lakers trade target I keep coming back to as a D'Angelo Russell replacement is Terry Rozier. Why would the Lakers do that? Why would the Lakers trade for Terry Rozier for... Uh, D'Angelo Russell low-key better than Terry Rozier, bro. Come on, bro. He says they're totally different players. Terry smaller and faster, probably a better shooter. D'Lo slower, better passer, and better in the medium range. Rozier's a better defender, but not great. Real point is, come on, bro. Stop it, man. Stop. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Oh, here come the Lakers fans talking about Kyrie Irving saying he's a Laker. Let's just breathe, man. Let's just breathe and not get our hopes up again. Hey, by the way, if you guys haven't already looked at my last video, go watch that rebuild on the Golden State Warriors. Let me know how you guys feel about that one. But that's gonna do it for this video. Be sure to remember, follow me on Twitter. I will follow you back, man. Roll to 10k, hit that subscribe button. Appreciate everybody for watching this. This is Zite. Peace.